Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, The Dig Site. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is long length, about 35 minutes. The requirements for this quest include 10 agility, 10 herb lore, 25 thieving, and the completion of Druidic Ritual Quest. The required items for this quest include Pestle and Mortar, Empty Vial, Uncut or Cut Opal, Charcoal, Tinderbox, Cup of Tea, Two Ropes, Trowel, Leather Gloves and Boots. Be sure to equip those now. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have Rock Teleport, Dig Site Teleports, Stamina and Super Energy Potions, and Weight Reducing Gear such as Graceful. However, don't bring the gloves or boots. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, you must first go to the exam center located just south of the dig site. The easiest way to get there is by using a dig site teleport and then walking south. Once there, enter the exam center and talk to an examiner. When prompted, say, can I take an exam? She will give you a letter. Now you'll need to go to the Vrock Museum, so use your Vrock Teleport and walk east. Once there, talk to Curator Haig Hallen. He will seal the letter. Use another dig site teleport and go back to the exam center. Speak to an examiner, and when prompted, answer all three questions with whatever you would like, as you will fail the test no matter what. For this next part of the quest, it will be much easier to follow if you have the maps in the description open. First, walk slightly north of the exam center until you reach two wooden walkways. Take the eastern one until you reach the top of the hill. Search the nearby bushes to receive a teddy bear. Once you have it, continue north down the hill. Just to the west will be a dig site worker. Right click to steal from him until you receive an animal skull and specimen brush. Talk to student number one who is wearing a green shirt. Talk to him again to give him the animal skull. Next, walk into the tent nearby and pick up the panning tray on the table. Walk east to the water and click on the panning point in the water to attempt to pan. Someone will stop you from doing so. When prompted, say, so how do I become invited then? You'll give him the cup of tea. Click on the panning point again. When your pan is full, left click on it in your inventory to search through it. You should receive a shiny cup. Afterwards, walk northeast through the dig site to find student number two. He is wearing an orange shirt. Talk to him. Talk to him again to give him the shiny cup. Go west until you see student number three. She is wearing a purple skirt. Talk to her. Talk to her again to give her the teddy bear. Now return to the exam center and talk to an examiner. When prompted, say, yes, I certainly am. The study of the earth, its contents, and history. All that have passed the appropriate earth sciences exam. And gloves and boots to be worn at all times. Proper tools must be used. When complete, you will receive a level 1 certificate. In order to pass level 2, you must go back to the three students to get answers from them. Talk to each student, and when you finish, return to an examiner for test 2.
when prompted say, I'm ready for the next exam. Samples taken in rough form kept only in sealed containers. Fines must be carefully handled in gloves worn, and always handle with care, strike cleanly on its cleaving points. When complete, you'll receive a level 2 certificate. Talk to the three students again to receive the answers for test 3. When you talk to student number 3, she'll want an opal in exchange for the answer. Talk to her again to give it to her. Return to the examiner to take test 3. When prompted, say, I am ready for the last exam. Samples cleaned and carried only in specimen jars. Brush carefully and slowly using short strokes. And handle bones very carefully and keep them away from other samples. When complete, you'll receive a level 3 certificate. Now go inside of the exam center and head towards the southern wall. Open the cupboard that is sitting next to a lot of chests. Right-click on the cupboard and choose Search to find a specimen jar. When you have it, walk to the most northeastern dig site, the one with the large skeleton. Right-click on your trowel and select Use. Use it on the soil until you find an ancient talisman. The soil is a little tricky to find, so right-click in various areas on the dig site to find it. Actually, receiving the ancient talisman can take multiple tries in up to several minutes, so be patient. A message will be displayed in your chat box once you find it. When you have the talisman, head back to the exam center. Once there, go inside and talk to the archaeological expert. He will take the talisman and give you an invitation. Walk to the western part of the dig site, to the site with the winch. Use your invitation on the dig site worker just to the south to gain access underground. Trying to use it on the workman standing nearby the winch will not work. Then use one of your ropes on the winch and then click on it to operate and be taken underground. Walk towards the southern room until you come across bricks. Left click on the bricks to search them only to see that it's impossible to go through. Head back to the surface using the same rope you came in at. Then walk northeast to another dig site with a winch. Use the rope on the winch and left click on it to climb down. Talk to Doug, the only other person in this room. When prompted say, how could I move a large pile of rocks? He will give you a key. While here, pick up the Arsenia root laying on the ground. It will look like small branches. Head to the surface with the rope when ready. Go back to the tent in which you received the panning tray, which is directly south of you. Use the key on the chest to open it, then left click to search it to receive unusual powder. Just west of the tent are some barrels. Use your trowel on the barrel with the skull and crossbones. Left click on it to open the lid. Use your empty vial on the barrel to collect unidentified liquid. Whatever you do, do not drop this vial. Use your charcoal with the pestle and mortar to grind it. Go back to the archaeological expert in the exam center. Right click on the vial and select Use. Use it on the expert to have it identified. Do the same for the powder.
Afterwards, use the powder on the liquid to mix them. Then add the ground charcoal and arsenia root to make a chemical compound. When complete, head back to the western winch and operate it to climb down. Go to the pile of bricks again. Use a chemical compound on the bricks, then ignite the bricks using your tinder box. After it is blown up, go into the large room and pick up the stone tablet in the middle of the floor. Go back and talk to the archaeological expert at the exam center to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 15,300 mining experience, 2,000 herbal experience, and two gold bars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.